Yeah. They, 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 they were talking about the spit and the quitting the other day. The hit the quitting or the spit of the quitting? The spit. <laughs> the spit on it and quit it. Oh, like, you, you know. gotta give him that hook too and spit on that thing. You get me? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was talking about the spit and the quitting. Yeah. And I'm still trying to figure out why this project is so important. Why, why wouldn't it be so important anymore? Why, why would you think it's not the same for me? I mean, because you have a lot of fans, and your fans, you know, they already know you're nice. You're nice MC, you're good at what you're doing. I kind of, you know what it is? I kind of feel like hip-hop fans have lost their way. And I'm not talking about young kids, and I'm, I'm talking about cats from the grain. You heard? And, um, you know, how I see it is, uh, you know, from the grain, we lost that sense of like go and find dope hip hop. Right. You know, you used to get up, you know, you'd be at up at one o'clock in the morning listening to Mr. Magic Rap Attack or, you know, whoever, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you sort out dope hip hop, you know what I'm saying? You look for it. You didn't just expect it to come on your feed. And you didn't just go looking for your favorite artist. You would look on the back of a record, see who helped write it, who helped produce it, what other songs did they produce, what other songs that he was on, you know, like, who was he on, yo, what did that DJ do, let me check that out, because, you know, it was like, it was almost part of the fun of it, it was like playing Clue, discovering who was nice and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, and we lost that, and so people kind of just got stuck in this time warp of who they remember the most, it's almost like that same old two-step. Like, you know, you just get that last dance you had down pat. That'd be the last dance you ever do. Like, you don't never do nothing new after that. You know, um, that's how we are now. It's like, even, you know, it's not, I'm not the only one that can make this complaint because there's other artists that's dropping great music. And they're really struggling to mobilize the fan base. Because the fan base has forgot what it means to be a hip hopper. It doesn't mean that you like artists or you like hip hop because that artist is getting the most sales or he got the best marketing team. You know, you like an artist because he sounds dope. In fact, the more obscure that artist was, the more you loved him. The more that you was hip to him before anybody else was, that meant something back in the day. To be able to say, nah, I said, I've been on that dude, yo. He quite a bit nice, yo. How you just catching up? Like, that meant something, something before. Now it's like, Cats measure it more by how popular you, popular you are and less about, yo, they're dope. This guy's dope. Yo, I need to hear that good music because I love hip hop. Like, I think now people are more loving personalities than the music itself. And, I, and, I, and, I, and, it, and so the only way that I think I could really break through that is to show them that I am as good if not far better than their favorite artist. You heard? And that they have to take me serious. I have to be taken serious. You know what I mean? Because otherwise I don't really see how I'm gonna ever do anything more with this. I'm gonna just let it go.